Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light technology gain times two. So uh, we made some changes to the paint. It's the same thing, it's still the same thing. But one of the changes we made to the paint is we added in a solution to allow the paint to be rolled on. So keep in mind, you can spray it and you can roll it on. Because I have customers and we get a lot of sales from spray-ons because like I said, spray-on applications uh, are a lot faster. Also too, if you're doing something like that has a surface that has a texture to it, it's very easy to coat and get pretty much hit everything if you're using that uh, particular area with a uh, texture to it. Like we had a customer who was doing a brick wall and it was better for him to spray it than actually to roll it on. Okay, so um, with this demonstration, I've already started on red just around the edges and everything, but in this demonstration, I'm going to be rolling in the screen instead of spraying it on. And I think also too, to add this uh, to our technology is very good because i tell you why, you have a lot of customers, not saying a lot, but some customers uh, will get intimidated by a paint sprayer because they've never used one before. And I think this actually opens up uh, for uh, both um, parties to be able to use a spray or to be able to use it to be able to roll it on. All right, so over here, I have it here in the pan. I'm so used to using a sprayer to ch -ch -ch done. But um, we're gonna roll this one on, so I'm gonna pour this in right now. All right, there we go. And I'm going to uh, roll this in. All right, so I'm gonna paint roller right here. There we go. Now, one of the tricks I want to teach you really quick, when you're painting in the screen and you're using, one of the things I like to use is frog tape. Always use frog tape. Everything else, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't say I don't know because I haven't tried it, but since I got frog, actually I actually did try blue tape and I tried all the different tapes so I didn't like them too well, but I do favor the frog tape because frog tape does give you that laser cut edge and it looks absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna be doing several, just, we're gonna do the screen, we're gonna paint over it white, we're gonna do one at 235.1, and we change changing it around quite a bit. All right, so um, I suggest when you actually, uh, when you do your screen, what you should do is you basically uh, hit it with the projector first. First hit the wall with the projector, see the size of the screen you're actually gonna get because you don't make the screen too big, you don't wanna make it too small. And then when you take the frog tape, you take the frog tape and you actually put one inch away from the actual screen itself. That way it's not right on the edge of it. You have a borderless screen, but it's not right on the edge of it. So somebody bumps your projector, something happens when your projector just comes out of line, you're gonna to have to have a painstaking hour, we're gonna have painstaking hours just trying to realign the projector just to fit that screen just perfectly. And that's why I always do one inch away. All right, so my camera strap over to the side. And like I said, very easy to do. I'm gonna do this with one hand right here. And we're gonna begin right here, okay? Now this is a one coat application, much like we do with the sprayers. It's a one coat application, very easy to apply. Apply, sorry about that. It's early in the morning, people. Sometimes early in the morning, speech gets a little slurred because I am really tired. Um, I was up late yesterday working on a few projects and um, tomorrow, today, and I'm hopefully it comes in a day because I want to see what this thing's going to look like. The wallpaper 100 inch screen is coming in. So a lot of people have been asking me about a 120. Uh, we are working on it. I'm actually working with several companies on getting my hands on a 120. Now, usually when you're looking at demonstration, they require you to go up and down, up and down in different formations. Not so with our technology. You can pretty much paint the screen any way you want. Make sure I get the zoom out on this. Okay, there we go. All right, so my paint pan over here. I got a lightweight pan. I didn't get a very heavy, good pan, but I got a lightweight pan for the time being. Right there. You see it right there. All right, this is just for the demonstration I saw. I'm gonna just do the border right there. Some people like to do the border first. Just go around the edges first. And like I said, it's a one coat application. Doesn't make a difference if you go up or down or side to side. When screen paint first came out, you were dealing with companies like Goose Screen. Goose Screen's still around. But when you were dealing with companies like Goose Screen, 
you had to go in up and down formation because any form of, uh, of cross lines would cause a um, would cause imperfections in the screen, and that's where the robot formation came out with. That's where the ro ro sorry, the robot formation came from. So you know, you know the history on screen paint. Yeah, there are a lot of screen paints out there, but Groove Screen was one of the top screens, and it did require you to um, to go up and down and up and down kind of robot formation. If you go back and you go to YouTube videos and you check out. Um, you check out the uh, uh, Goose Ring tutorial on showing you how to apply their screen, you will see it right in there. You will see someone actually painting the screen in, and they'll be doing the up and down robot formation. All right. Now this right here is our luminous ambient light rejection cinema paint, which I'm rolling on right now. And the surface that I'm using is drywall. This is actually drywall that hasn't even been prepped. So it's right on some, it's right on some raw drywall. And that's how you want it. I think that's how the best way to do the demonstration with the doing on some drywall. This is like an unfinished basement. Now as you see, I'm only using one coat. That's it. To do the screen, and that's it. I'm done. All right. And I don't have to go in back in there and dip the brush over and over and over again. That's it. Now, for those of you who are going to ask me questions like, okay, um, is the spray-on version the same as the roll-on version? They're both the same. That's why we just did it all in one. We did it where we have a spray. Spray it on, you can roll it on. Put a little dip in there. That's my roller making that weird noise. Make sure all the area is really good. There we go. There's the screen banded in. Same exact color as the fixed screen. Now this one was sprayed in. This one's rolled in. All right. So make sure I got all my areas covered up really nice. There we go. That's all. Just go over and make sure my areas are done real nice. That's it. All right. So, you got the sprayed in screen here. This is sprayed in. That's rolled in. All right. I'll come over here and find the remote control to my projector because I have it in black mode. Let me go over here and make sure my video is running. Okay, video is running. Okay, so let's take our projector, take it out of black mode. There we go video. There you are. This is why we call it ambient rejection screen paint because it's designed to thrive in tons of light. Now I want you to look at my environment. I want you to look how bright the environment is. Nice and bright. I got a light here. I got a light here. This place is nice and bright. Look at the screen. And my projector, keep in mind, sits 14 feet back from the screen. 14 feet, that's where my projector sits at. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this projector sits 13 feet. Upstairs, the projector sits 14 feet, eight inches from the screen. This one actually fits 13 feet back. The 13 feet back, long throw projector, fully lit environment. I'm using the ViewSonic PX747 projector, 4K projector. And this is with all the lights on. So as I do upstairs, the same demonstrations, I can walk, and mind you, the screen is still wet, I can walk anywhere I want in this environment, that screen is going to pick up. And if you look at the background, I tell you the background tells the whole story. 
Look at my background, nice and white. All my walls in here are white. The only thing is black is the ceiling because that's an actual screen paint. And that's a one coat application. So now the technology can be sprayed on. So let's take our lights out a little bit here. We'll take out a, that's a one in the back. We'll take out one here. All right. And we'll take out this. And tell people, you want the most from your projector. There's no point in going out and spending the money for a very good projector if you're just going to put it on a crappy screen or a screen that's going to have you sitting in the dark. And as I said before, if you're watching demonstrations, and majority of those demonstrations are done in the dark, but that's where you're going to be at. And I can come over here, I can hit my lights, I can have all my lights on in my environment. Oops, get the switch on there. There we go. And the screen's going to come up. And the screen, look at it, it's still wet. It is still wet. All right, for my time runs out here, I am Kenneth from Crystal Edge. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. This is why I use from tape. I use your cut. Like that. Voila, beautiful. And this is what I mean by when you do your screen, you want to be one inch, one inch away from the actual screen because you leave yourself a bit of a safety line there. That's the whole trick of doing it. So if I bump my projector, I actually move my projector right now because I move my projector quite a bit up and upstairs to do demonstrations. I don't have to worry about uh, trying to reset it to fit the screen because it's going to fit perfectly because I have a one inch safety line. And that's how fast it is to use the technology now. Even faster, even more options. All right, thank you all for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Uh, if you made orders already and you do want the uh, the changeover for the, the uh, uh, roll on and spray on technology will add it in there. Like I said, we have a special solution which we would design that allows us to be able to make the paint uh, rollable. So uh, we'll add that into your, uh, your, your um, order. A lot of light hitting that screen. I'm going to show you a brighter image. laser cut edge. That's how you do a borderless screen. All right, thank you all for your time. I gotta go. Um, the new uh, technology is now being added on really quick. Let me come over and show you the containers right here. So these are the containers right there for our technology. Leak proof containers. I like these. The other ones we're using are circuits with shatter and you had paint leak it all, leaking all over the place. With so this new technology, that's something new containers, not the technology. New containers, you don't have to worry about that. Drop that over and over again. You have to worry about that screen to paint leak it out. Leaking out. Sorry about that. Like I said, early in the morning. No coffee, no lucky charms, don't judge me. And like I said, did this without even using the fan. Alright, 
Thank you all for your time. I gotta go, I really gotta go. Uh, the wallpaper screen may be coming in today, so I'll be doing a demonstration on that next. All right, gotta go and God bless.